Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be uh, doing an unboxing of uh, nail art supplies from Joann's. Johan's, Joann's, I'm not quite sure how um, they're pronounced, but this is the brand here. So, if you can see that, okay. And um, I've got um, various different things in here. They're all listed on the customs declaration because I'm in Scotland. Um, I had to order all of this from the USA. And so I had my shipping costs. Then I was also charged for duties and taxes and God knows what else from the UK government. So um, it's ended up being quite expensive. However, I really wanted to give this stuff a try. So let's get into it and have a look and see what we've got in the box. Let's to get into It's come in a plain box um, with some nice tissue paper wrapped on the top. Oh, that's nice. So here it's showing each individual wrapped thing with the logo on it from Jones. It's all padded to keep it all protected. So I've got one and two with the Jones packing, um, one of the polishes that I'd ordered and the foils that it's come through so I'll go through them in just a second and a nice little card to say your purchase has made our day I hope this package brightens yours so that's really really nice so I'm quite I'm quite pleased with the way that the company's been really quick, fast, efficient. It was really easy to use the website. Um, so I ordered 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 different items. The um, price in US dollars was £97.20. I was charged $22.80 um, for my... Um, shipping, which came to $120 flat um, for the um, items that I ordered. And then I was charged an additional £24.97, I think it was. for. So all in all, quite expensive for nail art. However, I've watched umpteen videos of the uh, Joan's um, stuff online that I really, really, really want to try it. Okay, so, out of the box. And the scissors. And a little card. Okay, so... Um, the first thing that I've ordered was this, which is an effect gel. It's like a base that you put down. Um, it's no wipe, so it's really good for um, a lot of the effects that um, that I use and see. So I got that to try it. Again, on the videos, it looks like it's really great. So fingers crossed. And I think the cost for that one was get this out again it was $13.95 so $13.95 I'm not quite sure that that would work out £10 I should probably have worked all that out prior to opening this box but I didn't okay so the next thing that I got was these little strips so they are holographic um, so pink kind of like unicorn and then the holographic um, strips and um Essentially what they do is go and give you cool uh, line effects for your nail art. So you just take one off and you can put it that way, that way, like make a pattern with them. Um, and I quite like those two, so that was the two that I ordered. As hollow and unicorn are always popular, so that's them. Then I got, oh, oh, how lovely. Okay, so this is free. Um, this is uh, this is um, a gift for you, and it's Louis Vuitton. How cool is that? So it's Louis Vuitton um, 
Transfer foil. Oh, cool, can't wait to use that because I do a lot of Louis Vuitton sets, but I normally use my stamping plate. So that'll be really, really cool to try that. Yeah, cool. Okay, so that was free. Um, I didn't see that on the website. Maybe that's something that's to come. Or maybe that's something that they just use um, for their gifts. But that's a really nice little touch. So thank you, Joans. Johans, Joans, Johns. Joans. I'm going to go with Joans. Um, okay, so the next one then is uh, the vintage um, florals. I've been dying to do um, a, a set with the roses and I cannot find the right one. Um, and it was actually an Instagram post uh, that was using this. That I went, oh, that's the exact one that I want, which is what um, made me go into the website in the first place and then made me spend my money. <laughs> this one is the um, holographic gold lace. So I don't know if you can see that on the camera and how well that's picking up. But that is so, so cool over a black nail. So I think that that one will be quite popular, especially as we come up to Christmas and everyone's got their nice little black dresses on. Um, this one's another vintage one that's got um, lovely florals in it. Another one that's, again, roses. Really pretty. This one is like a holographic. I've got one that I got from Belissa. Um, which is like a rainbow effect and that was really popular but I just like this one for the for the fact that it was all the the blue, reddy, pink, purple um, effect and then again another floral um, I do like vintage stuff so it's another uh, vintage one okay so let's get into these it's also pretty it makes me not want to open it <clears throat> okay so my first packet of Stuff. I see glittery things. Okay, so these are the North Flame Effects. Um, and it's essentially like dust mixed in with Mylar. Um, and again, I really can't wait to do a set. I think my, my first set from this haul is actually going to be with one of these um, because they are super cool. Um, and I really, really think that when they come, the effect that you get when they went to the front is just amazing. So that one with the blue and the purple is the Angel Flakes AF1. And this one is Norflame 02. It's like a pinky kind of effect. And then this is a pack that I got of all the different like glitters. Um, it's the Angel series glitters. Very similar to the Daily Charm stuff that I've got. So I'll just compare it to the Daily Charm set that I've already got. Um, so this is the Daily Charm set that I had. So this is my Aurora Fairy Dust um, and my Dream Fairy Dust and my Unicorn Magic Dust. I don't know if the camera picks up like how fine the, the little... Um, flakes are in that and little circles these are much chunkier so I don't know if that's showing how chunky they are and um, so they are much going to give me a much more um, dynamic effect I think like it's going to have more depth to it and it goes from kind of slightly bigger than that and um, right up to this one which is really really chunky so that would be cool just to have a smattering of things that that go over on that. So that's it compared to the Daily Charm glitters. So if you prefer like a finer, more of a dust, then that would that would be the Daily Charm um, stuff. If you're wanting more of the same kind of effect but chunkier, then the Joan stuff seems to be quite good. But I haven't used it yet, I'll let you know. And then the last little packet. is the applicator brush now um, if you watch their um, Instagram page uh, Jones the Jones page then pretty much everything that they do all of the glitter everything's all applied with this little brush it just looks really cool so I wanted to get myself one so I probably could have substituted it for you know like a makeup brush or something um, something similar but it, I just this one seems to be purpose-made um, so Excuse my nails, by the way, they're due to get done, um, which will be in my next YouTube video. Um, 
but uh, they're looking a bit scabby from doing everyone else's nails this week. They're all scuffed up. So yeah, so that's the little um, Jones applicator brush. Uh, the applicator brush was, again, let me go back to this. Applicator brush was $8.45. So I think roughly it's about, I was about a fiver. Um, and you came only five, six quid, something like that. But then, of course, shipping and all the rest of it on top of it. So probably worked out about £8 for it. So, yeah, you could probably get a makeup brush that does similar. Um, however, I wanted this one. Just because I'm that way inclined. Um, and then this one is the Mermaid Dust. So <laughs> I'm obsessed with Mermaid Dust. I have this one. I have the Social Claws one and I have the... Daily Charm one, and I also have the Belissa one. So um, most nail art companies seem to have their own range of mermaid dust. It's such a cool effect. I can never get enough of it. Um, so I just bit the bullet and got another one to add to my collection. So I hope that's picking up on the camera how nice and shiny that one is. So this one is the Chrome um, Rhombus Minis. So these are um, little... A tiny little rhombus. So it's just a, a rhombus is an off square, so it's not quite a square, it's more you know, that shape. <laughs> a rhombus shape. Um so uh this one's the mermaid effect one. So it's blue, purple, unicorn, iridescent. I thought that would be quite cool for doing a mermaid set or a, a, a aquatic set or a holiday set um to go with some of my ugly duckling colours. Um in comparison to um, another set of rhombus that I have, and um, this is the um, Belissa uh, rhombus um, set. So this is the pink holographic one. So you can see the size um, of each of them. You get some really cool effects. I've got that in silver, in burnt orange, and in pink, um, with a hollow effect on them. Um, and this one is, you know, much much smaller. I would say probably more than half the size of those ones so it will give a different effect altogether a bit more like um a snake not snake sorry fish scales that's probably what that's more going to give me an effect for snakes god so yes last but not least oh no i'm not last but not least i've got uh, one last thing so these are the glow in the dark stars uh coming up to halloween and for christmas so i got a uh, glow in the dark stars um, for some cool sets so they're just teeny tiny uh, but they do glow in the dark so I thought that was again quite a cool little thing to add to my collection there's lots of them in there so um, three millimeters for each one um, so I'm definitely going to end up doing a set with them incorporated into it and then I also got just because I had it on the site and it was a reasonable price I don't want anything too fancy because I don't have a huge working area um, for doing um, my nails. So I got the uh, Joanne's brush holder because I'm forever marking my mat and my table and having to wipe it up afterwards. So um, it's just tiny. It's up to five brushes. I only really have like maybe two or three brushes on the go at any given time. Um, and it just sits flat on the table. That edge is flat, sits flat, and it'll allow me to put my little brushes on there without getting hair and dust and god knows what else on them when I'm doing sets so that's my haul from Joan I'm really pleased with that I especially like the fact that I got a little gift so um, I think that that's really really nice of them <clears throat> to do that um, and so I don't know if you can see all this in the in short so that is the haul along with the effect gloss and the nail art strips so Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful and useful. Um, and um, please subscribe if you want to see me do some demonstrations of some sets using all this stuff. Um, and obviously from other companies as well. Um, and if you have any questions, if you want to see a particular thing using this stuff, then please add it into the comments and I'll do my best to accommodate you. Okay, thanks very much, guys. Bye.